Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Purple Hyacinth, episode 65 to 66. Due to Webtoon's new policy, I do have to blur 50% of each episode. So if you guys do want to read along with me, it's available on webtoons.com. And for anyone out there who's interested in my early access to all my content for the month of July, such as Purple Hyacinth, Down to Earth, Be a Hello Baby, My In-Laws Are Obsessed With Me, and many others that I'm adding to the list, feel free to check it out on patreon.com slash ckt chaotic i will drop the link in the description box below here there will be no sensor no filter no cat logo to you know hinder your views so let's go ahead and get started ding, ding. hello tristan here tristan so good to hear your voice it's dakin ah dakin it's been so long is is everything all right Yes, yes, don't worry. Sorry for calling this late. I know I promised you uh, you and Rin I would stop by, but I haven't had a minute for myself. Not being very a very good godfather, I'm afraid. It's alright, she understands, and so do I. It must be hectic at the palace right now, with all this purple hyacinth business. Like you wouldn't believe. Is Rin asleep already? I'd like to talk with her a bit if she isn't. Huh. She's not home, unfortunately. She went out on a date just an hour ago. Ah, in that case, do you have a moment, Tristan? What's going on? Uh, ready for our date, officer? Ugh. Okay, okay. Sorry, that was inappropriate. I take it back. I suppose I should thank you for coming up with an alibi for Kim and Will. But I would be even more grateful if you never ever mention it again. Duly noted. Uh, while we're on it, why la... I can't say that word. Lare Quinn? Arle Quinn? Specifically. An old friend of mine works there. I asked him to add our names to the reservation book for the night of November 30th. If your friends check on it, they'll see we were both there when Anslow was arrested. Oh, I see. Clever. So where do we start? Please turn on your sound. Sorry, I had to turn it, make sure I had the audio on and see if it will play. So we're going to turn it on. Purple Hyacinth. I might adjust my speaker if it gets too loud, okay guys? Episode 65. Yeah, it does get a little loud here. The poorer neighborhoods of Artelis are full of abandoned buildings. Old factories and shops with plenty of underground storage space. Shut down by the police. No one ever checks them after. The Phantom Scythe thrives on abandoned places and people. So you think the weapons and nitro might be hidden here? Perhaps. Worth looking at the very least. Any other specific Phantom Scythe haunts? There's a whole network of subterranean, subterranean hideouts and passages. I'm sure I barely know a quarter of it. We call it the underworld. Most of the buildings look perfectly normal on the surface, like the Carmine Camilla. What about the Grim Goblin? I've never been able to find it. That's because it's underground. You can't find it unless you already know where it is. Care to explain? Nope. Knowing you, you run straight there. And I'm not letting an inc incident, innocent little lamb like you walk into the lion's den. How considerate. Let's start here. I can't believe I'm here, cooperating with him just like before. And I wouldn't even have known about these places without his help. This is what the pamphlets 
were denouncing over a decade ago. Pacifist protests, groups like the Snapdragon, were neither listened to nor remembered. And then the Phantom Scythe resorted to violence to be heard. What they've done is horrible. It doesn't justify the killings, but the people's frustration and dejections must have been legitimately abysmal. abysmal. Still nothing. It's almost dawn and we still haven't found anything. We've gone through eight of them already. Looks like the group that left isn't uh, as amateurish as the others. Prepare to pull a few all-nighters before we find our bomb. That is, if it doesn't explode first. It's not enough. We should inform the authorities. My uncle is the chief of the police. Surely that will play in our favor. Ludicrous that, that we could stop the Phantom Scythe, let alone a civil revolution on our own. Ah, see, that's where you're wrong. We aren't trying to stop the revolution. It must happen for this to change. We're trying to stop the terrorists among them from slaying hundreds of innocents for their own selfish reasons. And if you want your uncle's head to stay on his shoulders, keep him out of this. You know what happens to people who know too much in this city. We really can't tell anyone? Hey, don't panic, Lauren. It will do you no good. We haven't played all our cards yet. We'll come back tomorrow and search other locations. I'll continue to keep an eye out for the dark-haired woman and the scarred man. His name is Tim Sake. Huh? We might have crossed paths when I was still a detective. He's been in the Phantom Scythe since that early days. Was a bomber at the Allendale. Apart from that, I don't know anything useful. I see. Let's not linger here any longer. We're done for the night. <sighs> Orion and Sons. They are all dead, this point of no return, but it is not the end, Orion and Sons. Huh? L Lauren? I, I have to check something. Clack. Careful, officer. Was that necessary? Orion and Sons. What are you doing? <sighs> Pamphlets. A, a, a couple days ago, I discovered a protest group that pre predated the Phantom Scythe, the Snapdragons. Apparently, they used this shop to print their pamphlets. I found a I found it particularly peculiar. I've never heard of them. The music is like getting so loud, on huh, guys? Especially considering their rhetoric. I don't know why, but I can't shake the feeling that this is important. Wait, that's not ink. No. Doom. Bullet holes. Something terrible happened here. It's a murder scene. Welcome to Grey Chapel. Good morning, Lauren. You're just getting home? How was your date? Oh, uh, twas good. For someone who spent the night out, you don't seem very enchanted by the experience. Uh, mm. By the way, Dagen called last night, just after you left. Oh, dang. I would have liked to talk to him. I'll call him back tonight. He said the same and apologized for not coming over this week. 
but I forced him to agree to come to the New Year's party. That's great. At least there will be one guest I like. I also invited the Hawks, so expect young William, too. Feel free to bring your mysterious date as well. <laughs> I think I'll pass. Purple Hyacinth, episode 66. There was a massacre in that print shop. According to the sixth precinct records, the shop was shut down in February by the police. That's a little over a year before the Allendale tragedy. They only, the only thing they I found on them is an article refuting the Snapdragon's defamatory statements, labeling the group anarchi anarchist and claiming everything in the pamphlets is baseless lies. But the king was final say over the press, so no surprise there. But why isn't there anything else? It's like they were erased. Could it be that the Snapdragon were murdered because of what they said about the royal family? By whom? They predated that the Phantom Scythe, so maybe. Sake was there in the very beginning. Maybe he'd known something. And Sandman too? Since he's apparently still alive. Squeak. Ooh. Huh? Ah! Oh! What the heck? Hello? I told you to stop to- I told you to stop this. There's a door, use it! Nah, doors are too mainstream for me. <laughs> Besides, your face is worth it every single time. I suppose I should know better. After two years of being friends with your unhinged butt, two years ago. What the? Ah, what are you doing here? Says the person who just popped out of a window. T -t oh. Running away from trouble? Always. Uh, but, um, could you please not alert them? Sure. You do you. I'll be here for a while. These archives are a mess. I can't find anything. Oh, are you from the investigation unit? Yep, Lawrence and Claire. Got my detective badge a few months ago. Cam Liddell, patrol unit. This is my first week, though it might be my last. I just drowned Sergeant Hawk's paperwork and coffee again. So you're the newbie Will's always on about. I've heard so much about you. <laughs> the day I make a normal entrance, assume I'm dying. Um, Lauren, this again? It's been 10 years. That watch has been stopped equally as long. True, but it's different. You've turned into an obsession. Kim, I think I've found a lead. There are still so many threads to untangle, but I'm onto them, finally. It's, there's something I haven't told you. I know. What is it? The day I hit my head, it wasn't just a typical trouble on my way to the station. There was someone. Who? Temsake. He's back in town. What? Where did you see him? On Emity Street. I guess you could say we bump into each other. Really? Why do I have this weird feeling that you ended up chasing him down? Uh, well... I know, I shouldn't have, but he basically admitted in his involvement in Allendale. Lauren, I believe you, but he still has a restraining order against you, and for good reason. You got to stay away from that guy. I know, it was wrong of me to follow him, but could I really just ignore him after all he's done? Chow isn't even his only victim. He's been in this business for the past decade. I can't ignore it. The APD shouldn't ignore it. Even though it's pointless to try to prove it with so little evidence. <sighs> Whatever he told you is still his word against yours in front of a judge. 
justice will not be in your favor. What are you going to do? I don't really know yet. Nothing for the time being. But I haven't given up trying to free Chow's ex-wife. Lauren. Can you please keep this between us? Bruh. Cross my heart and hope to die. You're giving me anxiety, but I'll comply. <laughs> That's not all. Sake also mentioned he knew my parents' driver, Abel Sandman. They were both part of the Phantom Scythe. Sandman was his getaway driver the day of the explosion. Everyone believed Sandman died in a car accident with my parents, but Sake was saying otherwise. What? How is that possible? I dug up his autopsy report. The car's engine exploded as if it fell down the ravin. So his body was too damaged for a proper identification. His missing finger was what confirmed it back then, but... But you think it wasn't really him, which would mean your parents' death was not an accident. And as if it wasn't enough, Sake insinuated children were kidnapped right before the Allendale explosion. Oh, Lauren, this is terrible. It's... Huh? Lauren, I know what you're thinking. And the odds that Dylan was among them are... I know, Kim. I know. You remember what happened when you got your hopes too high last time? Please don't ruin your life over this again. I don't want to worry you, Kim. Too late. But now that I know all of this, I can't just let it go. It wouldn't be right. It wouldn't be fair. My parents are, or any victim of Allendale. I can't let two known killers run free after a decade of escaping justice. And even if I can't prove anything, I need to know, to at least know what really happened. To my parents and to Dylan, I need to know. So I can finally make peace with it, somehow. I understand, Lauren, which is why, as your friend, it is my duty to make sure that you don't destroy your life over a decade-old tragedy. I wish you actually been losing sleep over the cute newbie rather than this. He's not that cute, alright? <laughs> cute enough to date, apparently. I'm still not over the fact that you neglected to tell me you've met him, met such a hottie. Hm. Traitor. He is not. He's a sarcastic, egotistical jerk. Oh, you really love him. I do not. Whatever. I don't care. Today, you're mine. I'm taking you out. Uh-huh. Are, are we going to call Will? No, he's working today. Wait, Kim, where are you going? The door's the other way. The window. Uh, no, no. Wait, Kim. I don't think... Yes, yes, yes. See you tomorrow, Miss De Roses. Bye, Lieutenant Hawks. Oh, William, finally. Huh? I've been waiting for you. Son. That felt very eerie. Hmm. Wonder what's gonna happen next. All right, guys, that is a wrap. If you guys enjoyed my webtoon reaction slash reading style, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments on how y'all feel about these two episodes, and I will catch you guys next time. Bye!